Our next recipient is Pat Miller. Pat spent nearly 40 years serving Iowa State University as the director of the ISU Lectures Program. She passed away last August. Speaking on behalf of Pat is Claire Orlando. Claire, please come forward. Claire graduated from Iowa State in 2011 with degrees in French and Global Resource Systems. She is a teacher for the Des Moines Public Schools and lives in Des Moines. Claire. Good evening. Pat would not have liked this. Um, when I was a student chair on the Committee on Lectures as an undergraduate, I could rarely persuade her to pose for a picture with a guest speaker or get behind the microphone in front of a crowd. She wanted the spotlight to be on students and on the guest speakers that she brought to campus. This is an award for a faculty or staff member who had a significant influence on students. And Pat was the most influential person in my life during my time at Iowa State. On Halloween 2007, I was an 18-year-old freshman. I found myself avoiding holiday celebrations. And instead, I attended the Christopher Hitchens lecture in the sunroom of the Memorial Union. I was intrigued by the title of his latest book, God is Not Great, How Religion Poisons Everything. I remember the excitement of the conversation. Of course, it was lively and controversial. I remember the difficult and thought-provoking questions students asked. I remember my surprise when I realized students, not adults, facilitated the exchange of ideas. I remember wondering how Iowa State students seemed to have such complete access to the university's guests. I remember feeling exhilarated on the chilly walk back to my dorm, Barton Hall, thinking to myself, this exchange of ideas is exactly what I thought college would be and exactly what it should be. The next day, I walked into Pat Miller's office and asked how to join the lectures committee. Pat was the director of the lectures program and had been working for the program since 1981. She was an avid consumer of books, film, and current events. She was a brilliant person and contract negotiator, a fundraiser, and she grew the program um, that Iowa State has now. If you don't know, we host hundreds of speakers a year, drawing the brightest thinkers of our time to Ames from around the world. In the fall of 2007 alone, the lectures program hosted Madeleine Albright, Hillary Clinton, Barack Obama, Newt Gingrich, and Rudy Giuliani. Over the next four years, as a member of the National Affairs, World Affairs, and Committee on Lectures, I met with and hosted guest lecturers nearly each week, experts ranging from evolutionary biologist Francisco Ayala to linguist Paul Frommer to comedian Amy Sedaris. Unlike many lectures programs at universities around the country, a committee of donors and administrators did not pursue speakers, but series themes and guests were chosen by students. Students drove speakers to and from the airport in Des Moines, took them to dinner before the lecture, and introduced them to the student body and the community at talks. The program Pat built and led was entirely centered around students. When a student was interested in sustainable business practices, we hosted Patagonia founder Yvonne Chouinard. When a student was interested in The Daily Show, we hosted comedian Wyatt Cenac. When a student was interested in LGBTQ military service members, we hosted Lieutenant, Lieutenant Dan Choi. Pat retired in 2018 and died last August after a long battle with ALS. Like any true mentor, and leader Pat saw in me my best, and her belief in me allowed me to think and engage with people and thoughts I never would have engaged with. As a high school science teacher, I carry with me her optimism in our youth and the questions they ask as they make our world a better place. She was my shepherd as I navigated my coming of age in undergrad. She literally introduced me to some of the greatest thinkers of our time. She taught me that student voice and participation are crucial when programming at universities and schools. I am grateful to Pat for organizing that Christopher Hitchens lecture in 2007. 
I'm grateful for her guidance and her nurturing during a time in my life when I truly needed her. I am grateful we gather tonight to honor her. Last July, just weeks before she passed away, I visited her introducing her to my son for the first time. Love you, she called to me as we left her room. I love you too, Pat. Here to accept her award are her husband, Kemp, and her da daughter, Lauren. Yes, I'm Pat's husband, Kemp, and this is our daughter, or our daughter, Lauren, who happens to be a 2000 grad of Iowa State, too. <laughs> Pat loved Iowa State. She loved working with the students. She felt that offering the students new opportunities and helping the students take advantage of those opportunities was what the lectures program was truly about. This award is something special, would be something special to her because it's from the students. That's who she cherished most when she was director of the lectures program. Thank you. Thank you. 